When a client will say, ah, oh, but Dennis, don't worry about just doing negotiations. I just want you to do this session. I just want you as the change management guy. And even though you're not the change management guy, um, is that an area that you would say, you know what, thanks very much, but no thanks? Yes, I would. Um, I, I, I'd be saying to them, look, I, I appreciate the compliment. Hmm. And, 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 and I, I really um, am thrilled that you have such confidence in my abilities. But the reason that you've got a lot of confidence in my abilities is because I do a great job with my negotiation. The problem there is that Dennis has been doing this for 17 years. Dennis can quite easily say today, thanks, but no thanks. But if we're talking about a startup, like we're all scratching, correct? Like we're scratching. If somebody says, knocks on my door and says, hey, Gerald, I want you to do this, like I'll act like I can flap and get away with it for a day. But I'm thinking there's either 200, 500 or $1,000 in my bank account or zero. Mm -hmm. And for a startup, cash is king mm. for them. Yep. So you're saying here, one of, the, one of the things that I'm hearing from you is that you're saying, have the ability to say no. Correct. Whoa. Look, it, it, it's counterintuitive. <laughs> it is counterintuitive yeah, yeah. because as a business operator, you want to maximise your revenue. Absolutely. The message that, I, uh, the, the, that I'm communicating is that in going down the path of trying to maximise your revenue, you end up capping your earning potential. Because whilst you're doing a so-so job in change management, you could be doing an excellent job, or I could be doing an excellent job in negotiation skills. Um, but what that, if that was an in to negotiation? And they don't know Dennis yet. See, if I'm thinking of a person who just comes to me and says, I'm starting up my business, and I'm thinking, okay, let me Google you, and I've seen nothing because you're a startup, and you've got no credibility behind you, wouldn't this be an ideal way to say, well, here are some projects that I've done, not my forte, but this is what I've done to get started, but my specialty is negotiations. So my question would then be, as, I a, ask the as, question. as a client, as a client, um, why is it that you're choosing me for change management if you don't know me? Oh, I don't know how to answer that. That's actually really, that's thinking about that, it's because you've been recommended to me. Okay. You've been recommended that you are um, a skilled practitioner in your, in your field. Yep. And regardless of whether you can do change, you're, you're a trainer, you're a facilitator, you're a yep. speaker. Definitely. Just get on the stage and just talk, man. And, and That's look, what you're paid to do. Any facilitator worth their soul is able to go across multiple dis areas of discipline. Yeah. Um, most definitely. I'm, I'm not saying that in starting up your own business you have to forget about all those other things that you may have delivered or been exposed to um, in, in getting the experience that, you, that you've got. Yeah. But if you're going to build a business and if you're going to control that business, and remember the catalyst for me was that I didn't have control in the corporate world. Right. I was being directed as to do these things, do those things. So I start up my own business and now I'm being directed to do this and do that. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense. Um, I, I need to make sure that I've got enough resources behind me to be able to say no. Because yeah. if I don't have enough resource behind me to be able to say no, I may as well just have a J-O-B. Because I'm still being directed. Yeah. You know, I, I want to deliver to people um, an excellent result, an excellent outcome, something that they're not going to get from anyone else. And I can't do that over 27 different disciplines. I can do it over maybe one or two. So, mm. so when somebody comes to me from a recommendation, so let's say client A, who has experienced me as a negotiation skills trainer, mm. recommends me in change management because yep. they don't understand the dynamics and all of that sort of stuff, um, then... I'm going to be saying to that client that's been recommended um, to, to give me a call, look, the reason that I'm being recommended is because I do a really good job in that space. Now, I can do a job for you in the change management space. Of that, there is no doubt. Mm. But I can't do the best job for you. And I want you to be able to recommend me to others. Okay. And doing change management, I'm not giving myself the opportunity to allow you to be able to do that. But I can put you in touch with a couple of people that will be able to help you with that. Okay, that's a fair call. Because one of the things that I've also experienced is that when you're not back work, you actually get work. The number of referrals that I've had from clients that I've recommended other facilitators to mm. is quite alarming. 
Um, yeah. And and when I when I phone them to thank them for the referral, hey, why did you give me that? Yeah. They say almost without exception because you're the only guy that's been upfront with us and said, hey, I'm not your best solution for this. Mm. You know, because it is a credibility thing. Yeah. Um, sure, I, I do without some money in the short term. Yeah. And 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 that sometimes um, is painful. It, it yeah. is painful because you think to yourself, well, there's two and a half grand that I could have really used, but. Um, it's two and a half grand that you're better off without. And you don't fear the person that you're recommending the work to is, even though you know that person, that he is that specialist in that area, you don't fear that he's gonna do a bad job? It, you, you know well, I, I won't recommend somebody if I, if I don't have confidence in their ability. Yeah. Um, but I, I also don't fear that they're gonna take a client away from me. You know, mm. Because I, I know that I'm good enough in the space that I operate yeah. in. Um, that look, anybody that takes a client away from me in my sphere of expertise deserves the client. Okay. Um, so being the authority is what you're talking about. Yes. So first thing, if you're going to start up something, be the authority in one, don't be the generalist. Don't be the jack of all trades, be the master of one yep. and be good at it. Yep. <laughs>